Do's and Don'ts on Dating Vampires, a film by Swordsmaster Guy. When you fall in love with a vampire, here are some helpful hints on what to do and what not to do. First off, look for the signs that the vampire you want is interested in you. If you're a man looking for a woman, she makes the first move on you. If you're a woman looking for a man, usually you have to talk to him first. But he will make the first move on you too. There are rare instances that a gay vampire will show up. If this does happen, one of you has to make the first move. Attraction! Most vampires are attracted to those of the opposite gender, especially those in the military. Any branch will work. Gay vampires are fun to be around. So if you are also gay, these vampires are fun to be around just as much. There are signs that a vampire could be friendly, lonely, or hostile. Usually when a male vampire has a gentle nature, he will usually talk to you about his life, how he became a vampire, and his interests. Usually the conversation will end with, do you like what you see? The friendly female vampires will start to flirt with you immediately if she sees you are interested. Perhaps she could be a little too friendly? Lonely male vampires tend to wear their capes inside out, meaning the red side is showing and the black side is inside. This is usually because they have lost either a spouse or a very dear friend. They aim to stay away from social situations and they feel like they don't want anything to do with the outside world. Lonely female vampires cry. A lot. You can't tell if she is lonely because she doesn't wear a cape, usually. Just show her you care about them and give her some love. Give the lonely male some love, too. Hostile vampires have been betrayed in their pasts. They tend to stay away from people and try to bite if they get near. They have a very angry nature and usually they do not want to have anything to do with you. If you are interested in the hostile types, be prepared to become a vampire yourself. However, avoid hostile females at all costs. As soon as you make her mad, she will bite you. Dating! When dating a vampire, first thing you have to know and the most important thing Never ask vampires directly on a date. Always ask a friend or the matchmaking services to get the vampire you want. It makes a vampire very upset when you ask them directly, unless you know them very well and they are interested. There are rare occasions that the vampire will ask you on the date, but what they sometimes mean to say is, I want to bite your neck. But when they ask you, it means they want you, and they have a crush on you. So always accept the date, especially from the lonely ones. Otherwise, he might hurt their feelings. There are things you should do on a date, and things you should not do. A proper date with a vampire usually includes dinner, a movie, and a walk in the park. Try to keep it in that order. Let's start with dinner. Take them to your favorite restaurant, unless it's an Italian restaurant. In this case, you have to ask them what their favorite restaurant is. Unless he or she wants you to order food, never order for them. But if you do order for a vampire, they like meat, especially rare. They would actually prefer it still alive, but rare is good so they can suck the blood out of it. At all costs, avoid spaghetti, pizza, and other foods with garlic in them. Depending on the nature of your vampire, the movie you should see should be one they would like. For example, if your date is a lonely vampire, a happy movie will cheer him or her up. Just try not to go see a too happy movie. Never! 
This is important. Never take a male vampire to a chick flick unless it's one he wants to see. If necessary, always ask which movie they would like to see first. Most vampires like scary movies, especially ones with lots of blood. A walk in the park is the best way to end the date, especially if the park is very dark at night. Try going after 10 o'clock p.m. It is a good way to calm you both down. Try to avoid any animals in the park, and if there are any other people there, try to avoid them. You want to be as romantic as possible on this great ending. Maybe if you're lucky, he or she might kiss you. Or if you're really lucky, he or she might ask you back to their place. Vampires and Relationships Usually, if he or she wants to take the relationship to the next level, he or she will invite you over and make you a nice romantic dinner. But be careful if he or she wants you to get into the bed. Most importantly, do not take your clothes off. The main reason for this is that people turn off some vampires when they take their shirts off. Even though female vampires like to see men with their shirts off, it's a turn-off if you don't let her do it for you. One thing you should never say to a vampire. Never say, prepare to be woohooed, unless you're in the gay couple. If you say this phrase to an opposite-gendered vampire, be prepared to get a new love bite. The proper etiquette on in-bed stuff. Let the vampire ask you first. And if you feel uncomfortable, they can respect that. Unless the vampire you are dating is very lonely, then he or she might cry. You just got bitten! Oh, God! There are many things you can do. The most common one is to call the gypsy and ask her for an antidote. Or, if you have a friend who knows a recipe to cure a vampire, ask them to make it for you. Also, try to see if your friend can also make the antidote for the vampire who bit you. In reference to some movies, all vampires want to become human. Some vampires have a pendant that is connected to a comet that only comes around at a certain time of year. Sometimes, a vampire will ask you to cure them. Have your vampires stay out past sunrise? As you all know, vampires love the dark. Which is why you rarely see a vampire in the daytime. If you get your date back home too late, she or he might lose it. If you're fast enough, you can get him or her to the hospital before the sun gets any higher. Having neighbors around that see this really helps. Engagement and marriage. All vampires love to take their relationships to the point of marriage. Do not let the vampire propose to you first. That's their way of saying, I want to become um, one. Or, it could also mean, I want you to become one of us, which is kind of weird. If both of you are willing to go as far as marriage, always make sure you know how to p propose. Never take them to a restaurant and give a surprise engagement. When you do propose, men should wear a tuxedo as it is one of the most romantic ways to propose. Usually men in the military will propose in uniform. Women should wear a nice dress, not one that is too revealing. It is a turn off to a vampire if anything is revealing. Gay vampires love to be proposed while the one is proposing, and he is also wearing a costume. 
The wedding is the most important part. Always invite your family and your fiancé's family. Don't be intimidated if all of his or her family is vampires. Make sure your family also knows that the other family is vampires. After the wedding, enjoy life. Ever? This has been Swordmaster Guy Production.